Hey everyone, we just pulled over on the side of this road and I'm gonna go show you what we got down there. There is a pretty big beaver blockage. I actually already unclogged it and everything, but I didn't expect it to actually be something we could help with. So I didn't actually make an intro. Not a great spot to be pulling over, but <clears throat> looks like a blockage right here. This area is a bit flooded. Yeah, look at this pile of debris that people have been pulling out of it. Look at this. This beaver dam is ready to rent. This looks like it might be a pretty good one. A lot of water being held back. You can see this water was higher and somebody made a little hole right there. So we're going to see if we can get that unblocked. There's not much traffic today. Even though I don't have a great place to pull over. It's fine because there's barely any traffic and there's a good passing lane. Let's go over and look at the other side where the water will be coming out. This water is all very high. Because look, this is all being held up by that is all a beaver dam. But not really affecting the pipe, it appears. Wow, look at all the junk that, got, that came out of it last time. How loose is this? If I make this blast, will this come out? Oh, this looks like a much bigger problem than we're seeing. Wow, look at all the debris inside the pipe. Yeah, they're going to need an excavator out here. But all this stuff looks fresh like it was recently unclogged and it all got pushed out of the pipe. All right, here's my plan, okay? I'm going to put camera number two over here. We're going to go to the other side, unclog as much as I can. And while... Oh, that doesn't seem like a big place, but I'm hoping when I get it unclogged, there's still a big enough blast that'll help me push this deeper into the beaver pond where it won't really matter. All right, everyone, let's get started. First with my hands, and then I got my rake here because I'm going to be able to get the bottom a lot better with that. It's a big road. I'm going to have to do a loud shout. Yeah, when there's not traffic. I don't think that would have been heard on camera number two for alignment. I did leave the vehicle running though so I can have all my strobe lights on without a worry of the battery dying. This is all loosely placed here, I think, because the beavers were going to use this to pile leaves and stuff on to make it more watertight. So no, like I originally said, this stuff was not pulled out by anyone. This was all stacked here by the beaver crew. I'm hoping we can get enough current to be able to do something on the other side. Wow, there's freezing cold air coming out of this pipe. Oh, there's still ice in the dam. I hope that doesn't mean we are gonna have an issue, that this is still frozen.
Here comes the flow. I wonder how long it'll take to get to the other side. This is a big road. Wow, there's actual fog coming out of there. This dam has been here a couple years. Not the top of it, but this hasn't been pulled out in a while. It does not appear to be frozen. but it's very stiff, it's old. This is not the pipe, the pipe is at a weird angle. It's actually kind of warm now. It's hot out and it's been sitting in the sun. There's enough current, it's ripping itself apart.
There's enough current that's really helping me. Look at the undertow. It's taking the dam. Touching concrete, we're down to the bottom. This is gonna drop another two feet or so. I'm just trying to clean it up a little bit. Make a good trench into the pond. We've hit the bottom. see if we can do something on the other side while it's flowing a whole ton you see how it's kind of slowed down that's because you ever notice how a lot of times I am out here showing you these grates which I say are here only for the beavers well this is why there is a beaver dam in the middle of the pipe and all the stuff that's being released is contributing to a blockage in the center of the system. So, the DOT has the equipment to do that in like only a couple minutes. So I will report this mile marker to the New Hampshire DOT and they'll come out and solve that. This road is already getting busier. Uh, can't cross yet. As soon as I noticed that pipe slowing down, I had to stop. When you got that amount of current, you can't really take it out. It's just going to pass through the pipe. Wow! This beaver pond on the other side is almost to capacity now because of it. Now that there's a whole bunch of current, I'm going to try to come in here and dismantle this. And who knows? Maybe this is what's causing the whole backup. Maybe if I can get the whole thing to slide out, I don't know. How deep is this? Yeah, this might be the problem. It literally might be. How deep are we? Yes, I think this is it. And it wants to move. Come on out. I don't got my wallet on me. I don't care if I get wet. This might be it. Oh my gosh, it's coming out. Here it comes. Part of it anyways. Oh my gosh, it's letting loose, I think. Here it comes. Here comes the beaver dam. I knew that blast would get that out of here. Now, was that the whole thing? I don't think it is. There might still be something else in there, but hopefully it collapses. I hear a waterfall in there. 
and looking in there, the dam is like probably within 20 feet of the other side. And this is like a 70 foot pipe. able to do that is in the summer when there's barely any water here and I don't even know if that would happen here or not where it would get to that level where you could go in there safely so best thing to do is just report it to the DOT Alright everyone, I hope this was interesting. That was kind of exciting. Wait. It just accelerated. Good thing I didn't shut the camera off. I think the dam's coming. I think the dam's coming. The dam's coming. It's coming. Make way for it. Make way. Get out of here, sticks. The dam's coming. The dam's coming. Come on, come on. The dam is coming. It just accelerated. It at least partially failed. It definitely let loose partially. Look at all the debris. I think it's continuing to fail. I hear banging. Something's coming. I will keep staying here for a little while. Maybe more will come out. You see, this is why you always got to evaluate the area. Somebody let all these things through here and it's causing a problem. That's why I threw them up. Now this other side, if I knew they could safely get out of here, I would have sent it all through. There is a good amount of debris still in the bottom of the pipe. I suddenly see more daylight. Part of the dam is gone. There's still sticks coming out. It's still continuing to rip. Now it may seem like the water's slowing down. It, water's getting deeper. Look at the pond is actually at capacity now. This, this other pond. What did that guy just yell? Sounded like he said, get out of the road. I'm not in the road. Maybe he said something else, I don't know. Too muffled. Still hearing movement and look how dirty it is. Stuff is still getting torn. Who knows, the dam might completely fail. It's definitely a big improvement regardless. We'll take one more look at the other side before we get out of here. Let's put this stuff away. When we got here, this beaver pond on the other side of the road, I think was like two feet below capacity. Uh, I'm gonna show you what it looked like before if I have the footage. It's all very high, cause look, this is all being held up by, that is all a beaver dam. And here's what it looks like after. Let's go to the other side. This might be rush hour traffic. It is about five o'clock and we got here right, I guess, before the start. 
if you see over there, Big Beaver Lodge, that's probably where they live, which means across the road is probably Secondary Pond. This is Secondary Upstream. It's actually hard to cross the road now. All, all clear. Before we leave, let's see what's going on on the other side. I can see the edge, the marks on the trees. It's lost about four inches. And yes, look, that thing is sucking hard again. You saw how it slowed down? It's going good again. Look at all the pine needles getting sucked in. Those are all pine needles falling off the dead trees that the beavers killed by flooding them. The trees are drowning and all their dead needles are falling off into the water now. Oh, part of this beaver dam here actually looks like it may have gone back in there, but I got down to the concrete there. Now that the water's down a little bit, can you see where the blockage is? It looks like it's right near the edge, but that's not. I tried reaching with the rake and couldn't even get to it. See, it's not far in there. Maybe 20 feet, maybe 10 feet even. Well, we definitely improved the area and this will probably drop back. Definitely drop back two feet since it's doing so, so fast. But beavers will be back on the scene and this will probably be like I never even was here. Just give it a couple days. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day.